Hey everybody, it's me again. Just giving you guys a quick update on the status of the Warlord. It's been a, it's been an odd couple weeks, uh, mostly concerned with 3D printing and designing a piece, which I'll show you here in a second. But it's promising. Things are working. I try not to give updates if they don't work, because then I'm just tearing my hair out building stuff. But it's not the point. Let's take a look at what we got. All right, so here we go. This is one arm or one shoulder assembly is on. And you guys have seen from a previous video that these things work, the little shoulder rotations. And what we've done, the big focus has been on the arm. And mostly on this piece right here. And if I can take this off without it breaking on me, I will show you what I've done here. I don't know if you'll do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, so what we've done is we've cut grooves or one groove along the top shoulder there and a groove along the bottom shoulder. Fits in magnets there and this 3D printed piece is a two-part collar that fits into both of those and attaches to the magnets and that holds the arm in place. And the actual servo, let me pop this out, yeah, the actual servo is tucked up inside there and connected to both pieces. I'm going to turn this off real quick and put this thing back together. All right, so yeah, it's uh, it's hard enough to do that with two hands, much less one hand, one on the camera. So what the collar does is it sits in there and it allows the two pieces to freely move while keeping them together and supporting the weight of the arm so it keeps it off the servo. And let me trigger the tablet here real quick. Come on. There we are. I'm just kind of let's rotate in there. Good. Still got some twitchiness from the top up here, but this one still works on its own. And they each run through the side. You can see in that jumbo wires. This cuts through into the shoulder, and there's one down here you can't really see. But it bores through the wall, in through the shoulder, and into the arm. So I just have to replicate all that work on the other side and the arm should be functioning. I've hit, I've hung some of the weight from it. Um, where's the piece? This thing right here. So this is part of the volcano cannon and it's immense and it's heavy. And I've gone through and I've bored out a bunch of the resin to see if I can make it lighter. But that's still in progress. For now though, the arm collar is stable and seems to be holding the weight very well. I've hit it with some of this solvent based glue that kind of melts the plastic just a little bit to blur it all together but that's kind of where we're at uh, yeah and that's good got a couple of engineering challenges to work on the torso servo is being annoying as is the head servo but it's all coming together so thanks for watching